for their students who have a presentation that they'd like to share with you tonight. Um, hi, my name is Antonio Baltzell. I'm a freshman at Fishers High School. I'm Connor Brosman. This is my first year in net literacy. I'm at Fisher Junior High. I'm Lisa Patolo. This is my second year in net literacy and I'm at Fisher Junior High. I am Daniel Shuley. I've been a part of net literacy for two years. Um, today we are here to talk to you about net literacy our, uh, program at uh, the junior high. First of all, uh, next slide please. Our background, it was started in 2003 by middle school students. And at the moment, they have five core programs, which is Safe Connects, Financial Connects, Senior Connects, Community Connects, and Computer Connects. And the picture on the bottom right is the proclamation from Governor Mitch Daniels. <coughs> Next slide, please. The outcomes of National Net Literacy Organization. Over the years, we've refurbished about 20,000 computers. We have had over 3,500 student volunteers. <coughs> Net literacy has also increased computer access to over 170,000 individuals over four states. Uh, now, the Fishers Junior High Net Literacy Chapter was started by me in October of 2011. Originally, we only had eight members and one sponsor. Currently, uh, we have 20 members and three sponsors. Uh, we usually meet Thursdays from 3 to 4.30 at Fishers Junior High. I will hand it over to the comments. Oh, wait. I guess I have two more slides. <laughs> um, so we work using donations from companies that don't need their computers anymore or they like get new ones. And some of them are in good shape and really don't need to be worked on that much and others are in really, really bad shape and it takes us a while to repair them. It really is a pain sometimes. Um, what we do on Thursdays, we sort of have a checklist that we use. We evaluate, evaluate each computer if it's in working order. We troubleshoot the non-working ones, see what's wrong, and then eventually we'll get a fix. We also determine if the PC will like, meet our criteria for us to donate to other organizations. And we also repair the computers or spare parts we get from other computers. <coughs> now I'll hand it over to Connor. Mm -hmm. to the working computers? Hard drives are wiped and cleaned of all data. Um, the computers must meet hardware minimum requirements. Uh, Microsoft Windows XP uh, operating system is loaded to the computer. Open Office uh, Suite is installed. The goals for net literacy is functioning PC, running Windows XP, ability to use Open Office do for document cre uh, creation have the ability to navigate the internet to support homework and or research at home. Non-functioning PCs determine what co components are not working, work the problem, working, work the problem, do we have components from other non-working computers that would could, that could be used, could components from th this computer be pulled to use in other computers as needed, environmentally responsible, Respond, responsible practices, unusual items are recycled by a third party. Old, older technologies show increased use, usability. Reuse of resources is just demonstrated to the students. And now, and um, uh, now I'm going to hand it over to Lisa. Our accomplishments of 2012 and 2013. This year, we have refurbished so far 25 computers. We've had to help the FJH community and gave 18 compu computers to qualifying FJH families for home use. Who, people who qualify for these PCs, the student and family must meet the requirements for free and reduced lunch. At no cost, the student or family will, will, preserve, will, like, will get a PC, a working PC, and reduce cost um, for their Comcast cable. <coughs> We have gone interviewed for the um, Geist Community Newsletter. Um, we've had supply computers for um, third base. Um, we've supplied them with six computers, and they were taken so they can have a computer lab. And I'll pass it off to Daniel. Uh, 
our upcoming goals are we plan to present to Congresswoman woman Susan Brooks. We plan to refurbish 50 to 60 more computers and have them distributed to HSC families who qualify. We plan to refurbish 20 laptops to, to send with IU's medical brigade to help IU students in Haiti medical funds. Benefits to students. We have exposure to various troubleshooting scenarios. You cannot, you cannot create this in a laboratory learning setting. Development of 21st century skills, teamwork, presentation skills, and problem solving. We have interaction with professional and, vol and volunteers in the field of technology. We have a uh, sense of pride of helping others. Our community support is HSC schools donated computer components that can no longer be used in classrooms or were considered as absolute, absolute as newer technologies are introduced. Private donations of PCs and laptops. International Medical Group donated 55 working Dell computers and 20 CRT monitors. Um, kind of like wrapping everything up, we want to thank you guys for taking your time to listen to us and present. We would like to thank board also so that's pretty much it um, thank you thank you very much if you'd like to uh, open it up can we open it up for the board and we have any questions or comments can, I would like to acknowledge the teachers who are okay. working with this group. This is uh, Mrs. Deb Pletch, who was the founding sponsor, Mrs. Meyer, who has uh, come on board, and Mrs. Bowen back in the back. And I think Mr. Kent, Don Kent, he's the man that brought the program to Antonio, who brought it to Fisher's Junior High School. So, you ready to go? It's a wonderful. It's a wonderful program. I um, very and you, you all spoke very eloquently about the work. Um, my one question for you is, how do you get the computers? Where are you getting all of them? Because you have one big donation, um, but how, how do people know to donate? We have gotten amazing support from the article we put out. We started off with um, Net Literacy provided us with the first 30 computers to see where we could go. The FJH staff has given us personal donations, and then from that article. After this was all presented or um, done, we ended up with another 40 computers that showed up from another local business. It has all been word of mouth from people who have heard about us, who have donated a computer or a part of a computer, and it has just grown from there. Where do, if you have a computer to bring in, I'm assuming you're going to put them on Crystal's desk. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, if you let me know, if you email me, um, or contact the front office, okay. if you bring it in, they'll bring it down to my room, and my kids will put it in storage until we can work on it. So that's great. I was just going to ask you, where do you store them all? <laughs> well, um, that currently is our trickiest problem. I have a science room that has a corner of it used. Um, we have taken over half of the storage room and two other classrooms as well. And any other nook and cranny we can find to put things in. For a while, it was stored in my garage, and I bring it over every Thursday. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> question's more, I don't know if it's more fundamental, but, but uh, how do you know how to prepare them? Mm -hmm. Does anyone answer that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, the first year, it was kind of uh, a teamwork sort of thing. And just we all kind of teach each other uh, things that we learn and just by working together, just eventually we kind of learned how to, and I don't know, it kind of helps that my dad is works in the technology sort of area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, over the years, we just tell each other and we help each other. We also have support from HSE Technology, a couple people who are on their off hours come over and help teach the kids whenever they have time. Uh, John Dickerson is one of the main people who does that for us. So that's a great asset to us as well. We've had a few people from the community. Yes. People, a uh, retired uh, gentleman is here. Yes. Alan is here with us uh, tonight, who's come and been uh, instrumental. In instrumental in helping all the kids learn how to shoot and, and learn as well. So. We learn on the go. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for volunteering. One of the things that I want to share that I'm most proud about is the fact that at Fisher Junior High we talk a lot about giving back and community service and making a difference and paying it forward. 
and I'm really proud that the fact with them refurbishing the computers and making sure that some of our students in the free and reduced lunch population have access to those because oftentimes we assume and since we've gone to Skyward we do a lot of um, paperless type things we realize that those students don't always have access to some of the things that we are fortunate to have. Um, moving forward I think we are going to provide this as a an option for students at Sand Creek Intermediate, so I'm also excited about that. So we'll move it from Fisher Junior High down to Sand Creek to make sure that those kids have access as well. And I was going to ask, are you at your capacity in terms of your need of meeting it right now, it sounds like? Are you close to meeting your needs at, at Fisher's? Um, we are close right now from the initial letters we sent out. We still, as we get new things in, we're just in a continual process as people apply. As soon as we get it, we set up a pickup date for them, which is why we've gone to Sand Creek and said we've got extras, because right now we're having storage issues. <coughs> so we have these computers to help us find kids who can use them. When I was reading this earlier, I'm sorry. Okay. When I was reading this earlier today, I saw, do you work with Comcast to help these kids get internet access to? There's a thing here about reducing um, costs. That's actually through the Net Literacy Full Blown Art Organization that they've partnered with Net Literacy to help us get that 995. They've income guidelines for 995 a month mm -hmm. for the internet access and there's no installation charge. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. That's a question to some of the students. What quality do you look for in your teammates when you choose members? <laughs> I mean, um, like teamwork, really like getting along with other people. Um, just liking to help people in the first place, right? just to get a good feeling from helping other people. Not being afraid to present in front of a lot of people. <laughs> but just a, like a nice, caring person, or just, it, they don't even have to know. Are you, are you, uh, oh, go ahead, Joe. Who are, these, who are these folks back here? The groupies? Or are they they are the rest, <laughs> of, our, <laughs> that is the rest of our net literacy group um, that came out for support. Right. Is this the other, is the other other members of the team? Yes, it is. And parents and mom. Um, I mean, Mrs. Bono, their staff supervisor, and then Mr. Kent. And the ones that do the work are right here? Exactly. <laughs> the hardest workers. <laughs> If, uh, if I was able to get you another group of computers, could you use those right now? Yes, we can always use computers. Um, mainly, like I said, we can always use them to keep refurbishing because some of the ones we get in don't work. Spaces. <laughs> Our biggest one right now is space. Uh, storage space and ways to organize things. Uh, our National Junior Honor Society helped us out by buying us four plastic totes and people thought it was Christmas and iron and things like that. Tools. Well, could you tell us a little about uh, Congresswoman Susan Brooks is coming? Is it this Friday? It is this Friday. She's coming after school to see what we do and to talk to my students about some entrepreneurship with um, and giving back to the community. And then she wants to see exactly what we do. I know that the main Net Literacy Board has spoken in front of Congress and has a couple different things on the floor with them. So she's coming to see exactly how a local chapter works. And she picked us. Mm -hmm. Great. Congratulations. I think Dr. Smith's going to be uh, attending yep. as well. Yep. Excellent. So great. And we look forward to hearing how that um, meeting goes with, uh, with Congresswoman Susan Brooks. So thank you all very much. Well, congratulations, and I know we're going to have a great article in the current. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. then you'll probably get more volunteers. No pressure at all. Just get some more volunteers and help, uh, help your capacity. Well, thank you all very much. Thank you. Very much. I just have one question. You said you partnered with Comcast. Why live up in Wayne Township? And we can't get cable. So how does that work when you're up there when you don't have cable? I am not exactly sure who we have up there. I would have to go to the national okay. for the okay. I know we've done some things with Bright House as well, but I'm not sure if that's okay. Bright House. All right, thank you. Thank you.